Jay, throughout your career, you've worked on both the technology and marketing sides of organizations. In fact, before your current role as NetApp's chief marketing officer, you worked for another company as a chief technology officer. How do you think this sort of blended expertise and experience helps you as a CMO for a technology company? Well, one of the, the primary jobs of, of marketing at a technology company uh, is engaging in, with customers, uh, getting them a message in a way that causes them not only to understand what value you have to offer, but to take action about it and to move forward. I found that my, my experience in working as a chief technology officer, I spent a lot of time talking with customers about how they use technology, how they deployed it, what their challenges were. And I picked up an understanding both in terms of what they want to hear uh, and they, what they don't want to hear, a lot of hyperbole and fluff. They want to get to the meat and a clear understanding of what value a, cap a product or technology provides, why it's better than their alternatives, and also they wanted to hear some understanding of how it fits in with the rest of their environment. And when a, when a company expresses that understanding, that's when a customer really feels like this is somebody I can work with. So as I've worked with the, the marketing organization here, I can apply the sniff test to some of our messaging and our collateral. Say, is it really speaking to the level of customer that it needs to speak to and is, is it saying the right things in the right way? We're talking to a technical customer, we've got to be crisp and credible and recognizing the environment they work in. If we're talking with a strategic customer, we've got to communicate the business value and how they can sell it to their upper management. Um, all of that came from spending a lot of time talking directly with customers in my technical roles. Uh, this year, Fortune Magazine ranked NetApp as the number one best company to work for on its annual list. What are some of the implications of being a top employer of choice from a marketing perspective, Jay? Yeah, we were surprised, uh, not so much that we won this award from, uh, from Fortune, uh, because People who work at NetApp know that it's a great place to work. Even around the world, we're in the top ten in most countries where this survey is run. Uh, but what was striking is how much the prospects and customers that we dealt with also perked up and really showed a lot more interest in NetApp uh, when we won this award. Uh, we got meetings and discussions with people that uh, we never would have thought we got we would have had before. And uh, even outside of the U.S., in South America as well as Korea, the fact that NetApp was the best place to work in America counted tremendously toward the credibility of our company and our offering with, uh, with those customers. So what I believe is that customers want to be associated with companies that are successful. There's financial success, there's technical success, and this is cultural success. Because when as a customer, if you're buying from a company that's successful, you know they're going to be around and you know they're going to be there to, uh, to help you address your needs. And that's something that NetApp being a great place to work. Uh, we are really committed to, to doing that, working with customers to meet their needs. Great. You have a blog called Jay's Blog. Can you tell me a little bit about its purpose, uh, the value you derive from it, and also a little bit about NetApp's other social media activities and presence. Yes, yeah, so as an executive at NetApp, um, part of my responsibility is to blog uh, occasionally on topics where, as NetApp, we want to get our opinion and a voice of the company out into the, the market on a particular topic. And so I tend to write my blog and just express an opinion around something that may be going on in the industry that we may be involved in or may be unrelated to. Uh, and I really enjoy the dialogue that ensues, which may not always be online. I tend to write my blogs like a column, as it could be occasional comment. But I have discussions with people I meet face to face or on the phone. Oh, I read your blog. I like what you said about this, and we'll have a discussion around it. So that offline discussion I find is just as useful. We have many other bloggers at NetApp. I think there's 31 different blogs uh, coming from NetApp. Uh, for targeted at both strategic buyers as well as technical buyers, and especially in the technical domain is where there's a lot of dialogue. People want to know the, the experiences and the technical facts and what works and what doesn't, and uh, there's some pretty interesting dust-ups competitively which happen uh, occasionally uh, in those domains as well. 
Uh, but we enjoy doing those blogs. I think the customers enjoy the dialogue, and uh, it's certainly a good way to, to get a voice of truth out there uh, in the technical realm. Great. And Jay, you also have a presence on YouTube, correct? We do. Uh, we have set up a, a structured program around YouTube uh, where we, we put together a viral video, uh, which was a rap takeoff. It was very entertaining. Got a lot of good feedback on it. That drove, tra drove traffic to a number of our educational videos, five or six minutes on a particular topic, which then drove traffic to our website and enabled us to actually capture more prospects and more, uh, more uh, customers who were interested in what we had to offer. And uh, then we can engage them in a, a longer-term dialogue. Well, Jay, thanks very much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Eric. Nice to talk with you. To learn more about relationship strategies, visit www.1to1media.com.